Dr. Elam. So the Elam Leadership Institute, I know to be an amazing collective of educational experts that help do work within schools around this nation. And I believe my last count was around 20 states that you have done this work in. But I wondered, because people ask me a lot, what is the Elam Leadership Institute? Can you tell us in your own words what you have created and why? Yes, I would love to. When I first got into education, I was always looking for the formula. What is the formula that we need for all groups of students to succeed in school? And I kept going to conferences. And then working across the country in over 20 states, started looking at what can we do systemically that would help schools achieve? And moving away from blaming schools for failure, blaming teachers not knowing enough to work with diverse populations, we started to look at what was it that teachers needed. And the first thing you wanna start with your data. That's really important. But data literacy is a challenge when you have such busy schedules. So what we looked at, when we looked at the data, we would have them look at it and we help them unpack what are the implications for teaching and learning based on what you see in the data. So in the country, the whole country basically knows we have achievement gaps across, we have instructional gaps, we have um, all kinds of access gaps. But if that's, that's only one level of looking at data. But when you look at data to see the root cause, going in to unpack the why, it could be because I'm a multilingual learner. It could be because I'm special needs. It could be that I don't have access and opportunities, you know, because of maybe economic. It could be based on race or gender. And so looking at the patterns and the gaps that we see in the data, and then what are the implications for me as an educator, what do I do differently? I can't keep doing the same thing. So that's what we do. And we bring experts to the table who know how to do that. Some are former deputy superintendents and superintendents or researchers out of universities or professional developers themselves. And we've come together. Um, you know, they say like-minded people come together we just value each other and the impact that we've had on schools. So we come together as a think tank to say, how do we help these schools unpack um, some of the challenges that they face? But starting with data is important and that will inform the practice so that it gets to the root cause. It looks at the disparities in a different way. And it's also not just looking at the disparities, it's also looking at the successes, what trends are happening that you want to um, repeat doing. And sometimes we don't tell educators that enough. So what it sounds like to me is you answer, well, first you seem to create a bridge between administration and possibly the classroom. Yes, because administrators have to provide the support that teachers need to be successful. And when we go to schools, especially if they they have a lot of struggling learners, what happens, we mandate that teachers address the needs of diverse students or children from different backgrounds or experiences. But if we don't equip them with the, the resources, the understanding of the compelling why they see those gaps and disparities, you know, it's frustrating for everyone, especially for our children. But look at the teachers. They feel like they're, they're failing. Um, we already have such an exodus of, of teachers right now. We have to build our teachers up in order for them to be successful. We cannot blame them for failure if we haven't provided those scaffolds for them as well as for the, for the students. So what I have heard um, in my experience with working alongside the alum leadership is that you really hold people's hands through the process of operationalizing these different dimensions that you teach within your framework. 
into the classroom practices themselves. And so it goes from administration all the way down to daily practice. Do you find that this has turned um, the tide for those gaps that different districts are realizing with their data? I think so, because instead of creating an environment of them and us, we are in this together with a focus of collective efficacy. What is it that I do as an administrator? What can I do to support my teachers? As a teacher, what do I do in my classroom? As a parent, how do I partner with the school? As a student, how do I take the risk to learn more, make some mistakes, uh, but grow from that? So you want a, a mindset of growth in a climate that develops all involved. And I think that makes a difference because we're looking at it's an asset-based based approach rather than a deficit-based approach. And that does make a difference. Now, I know that magnet schools use you quite a lot and that you are known as the woman to come train magnet programs. But for other people that are curious and interested and in learning more about how to incorporate your services or what makes you different, do you have any final words? I think we believe in educators. We believe that if we provide them with the appropriate resources, the tools and the understandings and crosswalk them for research to practice, I think they will soar. Um, I think so often teachers feel that it's an uphill battle and that they're in this by themselves and they're not. We're here to support them with so many seasoned experts that come together and we just want to see them excel. That's what makes us excited. That's what drives us to do what we do.